All right, we're working on this oven today. <clears throat> they said it was completely dead. So what happens with these ovens is there's a, there's a fuse right there that breaks one leg of power if there's a problem with the door switch or the monitor of that. So that's blown. It's a 30 amp fuse. So I put a popper in line right now. That fuse is dead, but I'm lined in with this. And so what I found was with my popper in place, when I powered it up, boom, it just went. So chasing the uh, wiring diagram back from that, it runs into this relay board through the switches. So I keep both. So I undid both of those and I put them on a new board, um, plugged it in and then went and turned on the breaker, opened the door and it seems to fire up. So this relay, is what the problem is. This door switches are also getting to be a problem by the way they're worn down, but not on the immediate. So let me get this, this one screw here, that board pulls out, new one goes in. Then we'll run it through a heat test and see if she holds up. 65 degree water in, 95 degree water out. They want 24 degrees in 40 seconds. We got it now. Close her up. So, um, <clears throat> sorry, my going through a little throat thing here. Let's shut this down. Um, so this board ties into the door catches. So it can be that this is the problem. And when you unhook that, it also goes away. So you test that by putting a new one in. And if it still trips, then you know it's your door switches instead of your relay. But in my case, was the relay. So now I'm gonna get rid of my popper. I'm gonna put a real fuse back in there. Another way this happens is we gotta get the stores used to letting it finish its cook. So you have to let it let it finish, beep, and then open the door. If it's still running and they just open the door, then you're taking the risk. If both of these are engaged at the same time, and there's a little bit of a delay anyway, then that's what's gonna blow the fuse. So if it's running and you're just pulling doors, eventually the timing can be off enough that you'll blow that fuse. So we're gonna make sure they know to let it finish cooking, that stops the actual high voltage running through. And then when they break it, it's no big deal. All right, so we've got both happening. I'll show you. But this is also what I do for these units. Um, Cause these little fuses are expensive. And these are expensive buggers. So I put a, a 30 amp popper so that when this dies, which it has, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, and so that's what burns out the relay. This energizes both at once, that zaps the relay, relay shot. But you can see, all right, so we've got a top and a bottom, and when we close it, I'm gonna close it hard. Both drop, see? They both drop. Well, I just had a moment where I slid it in and the top one didn't drop. So then when it energized, pow, trip the breaker. I'll show you why that doesn't pop on it. So there's the deal that's in there. And you can see we're using an aluminum. Actually, this is steel. We're using a steel rod against a plastic lever pretty soon it cuts a groove in and once it cuts a groove in it doesn't press it where it's supposed to and it doesn't rock so that's why you're bleeding through sometimes I've been using the heck out of these lately and I used my last so I have extras but not with the they actually make them in plastic and they make these in aluminum and the aluminum ones last way longer because obviously but boo I'm not gonna be able to get this running today so I gotta get these parts. I picked up a whole bunch of new locations and part of my running through was getting this stuff and I haven't reset my uh, my par levels, if you will, of my parts on my truck. So 